In 2015, Powell, Donovan, and Robot SPD-13, also known as Speedy, are sent to Mercury to restart operations at a mining station which was abandoned 10 years before. They discover that the photo cell banks <clears throat> that provided life support to the base are short on selenium and will soon fail. The nearest selenium pool is 17 miles away and since Speedy can withstand Mercury's high temperatures, Donovan sends them to get it. Powell and Donovan become worried when they realize that Speedy has not returned after five hours. They use a more primitive robot to try to analyze what happened to it. When they eventually find Speedy, they discover he is running in a huge circle around a selenium pool. They further notice that Speedy's gait is a stagger, a noticeable side-to-side -side lurch. Powell eventually realizes that, that the selenium source contains unforeseen danger to the robot. Under normal circumstances, Speedy would observe the second law, a robot must obey orders. But because Speedy was so expensive to manufacture and not a thing to lightly destroy, to be destroyed, the third law, a robot must protect its own existence, had been strengthened so that his allergy to danger was highly unusually high. As the order to retrieve the selenium was casually worded with no particular emphasis, Speedy cannot decide whether to obey it or protect himself from danger. He then oscillates between positions farther from the selenium in which the order outweighs the need for self-preservation and nearer the selenium in which the compulsion of the third law is bigger and pushes him back. The conflicting laws cause what is basically a feedback loop which causes him to the point, confuses him to the point that he starts acting inebriated. Attempts to order Speedy to return fail, as the conflicted positronic brain cannot accept new orders. Attempts to force Speedy to the base with oxalic acid that can destroy it fails. It merely causes Speedy to change routes until he finds a new avoid danger, follow order, equilibrium. Of course, the only thing that trumps both the second and third laws is the first law of robotics. A robot may not allow a human to come to harm. Therefore, Pal decides to risk his own life by going out in the heat, hoping that the first law will force Speedy to overcome his cognit cognitive dissonance and save his life. The plan eventually works, and the team is able to re repair the photocell banks. Thank you for listening.